Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to film this video for you today. Today's video is going to be some must know age rehacks. These are all things that I have come up with and I think they are great and I think they make being an age regressor great and I think they're hacks that every age regressor should know. So I have four things on this list for you today and I will be including some demonstration clips clips in this video as well, so some of the things that I do, I show you how I do them. Alright, let's get started. My first hack is cheap eBay passies. I feel like quite a lot of people don't know about this hack, and they absolutely should because it's brilliant. If you guys didn't know, on places like eBay and Wish.com, you can get these adult passies for really, really cheap. I'm talking like roughly $2 a piece including shipping. That is where I got this one and what I do with these is, because I already have some of this shield type that I use, but when I buy these, what I do is I take them apart and rip them apart and I steal the teat out of them. And the reason I do this is so I can like modify baby pacifiers and like have my big shields but with the good teat because I don't like the silicone baby pants teat. I like this clear one with the stuff on the sides. They are fairly easy to take apart. All you really have to do is flip up the handle on the pacifier and take a flathead screwdriver to the little groove underneath it. And if you just push up with a little bit of force, it should pop right off and you can take it apart and just take the nipple out. My age rehack number two is about Wish Passy Clips. If you guys haven't looked at Wish for age re stuff, you totally should. They have a lot of stuff on there. It's super cheap. The only downside is that you have to wait a while for it to get shipped because it's coming on a soul boat from China. But if you don't have a problem waiting and you only have a little bit amount of money, Wish is a really good place to go. So it's not really a hack, but like, I gotta tell you about these Passy Clips. You can get these Passy Clips off of Wish and I will show you right here how they work. It's super cool because you can adjust the length on them. There are three little snaps that you can snap it into to adjust the length on it so you can have it from the length of a baby passy clip all the way up to the length of an adult passy clip. I like some of the clips that have the snaps and I think these clips are super cute and I like how you can adjust the length on them and I just think they're 12 out of 10 and everybody should get some and they have them in a bunch of different designs and prints. I just chose when I ordered them the first time to get the green and yellow polka dots and the pink polka dots. This next hack I have for you is how to make your own adult sippy cup. This is a fairly easy and cheap one to do. All you gotta do is find yourself a 32 ounce mason jar. It can be really any size mason jar as long as it's got the regular size lid and it's not a wide mouth. I like the 32 ounce ones because they're really big and they make me feel tiny when I'm holding them but you can use a 16 ounce one or an 8 ounce one or any size mason jar you want. So just find yourself a mason jar and the ring for it and then all you gotta do is go on to eBay and find the newbie sippy cup top that say they fit the mason jar lid. If it fits the mason jar lid, it will say it does in the title. You have to make sure you get those ones because on eBay they also have replacement spouts for the toddler cups that Newbie makes. So you have to make sure that it specifies that it will fit inside a mason jar. But once you find that, they're super cheap, like two to three dollars a piece for the sippy cup top and mason jars are super cheap. So you pay like four bucks and you got yourself a nice sized adult sippy. Now the next thing that I'm excited to show you is a little mini DIY. So I will cut to the clip here. It is a passy clip holder. All you're going to need is a hanger, some scissors, and some duct tape. You're going to want to measure out a piece of duct tape the size of the bottom of your hanger. Then you're gonna wanna cut it off and fold that piece of duct tape in half over the hanger so there's like a duct tape like 
kind of wall shield thing on the bottom like it's hanging off of the hanger a little bit. And this is a really great way to hang your passy clips. You can just clip your clips to the little duct tape on the bottom and you can use whatever kind of duct tape you want. I know they make cool prints. Red is the only stuff we had. But you can just clip all your passy clips to the bottom and it makes a neat little passy clip hanger and a cool way to organize it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all these little like Adri hacks or tips or I'm calling it hacks because I don't really know what else to call it but nonetheless I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will use some of these little hacks you can definitely subscribe if you want to see more of my videos on age regression and you can subscribe to my other two channels which have to do with vlogging and other random stuff down below be sure to follow me on my social media it is Riley's Little Space on Instagram as well as Crayons and Pencils on Instagram and then on Twitter and Tumblr it is his little space if you want to support me in my content you can check out my Patreon and my Ko-Fi which are linked in the description. This onesie is from LittleTude. You can use my code Riley to get 15% off. All of the links to the shops I promote for and my discount codes are down below. Okay, I love you guys a lot, a whole lot, and I'm excited for you to watch this video. Okay, bye!